Hey guys, uh, Cyberace TV here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Sony Ericsson W580i. Okay, so this phone is really nothing new. It's probably at least three or four years old. Uh, I've only had it for maybe uh, two years, but um, I basically, you know, had this laying around and decided maybe I should make a review of it. So I took my SIM card out of my LG View here and popped it in there. It's kind of funny because um, I actually have like calls from last year on it because I used to use it back then before I got my view last uh, July I believe and um, I mean it was a really great phone I really really like it it has a 2 megapixel camera it is of course a slider phone made by Sony Ericsson and Walkman so it has a really great uh, mp3 player you know see I actually have a song that I must have paused before I stopped using the phone <laughs> it was still in the exact same spot as you can see, basically you got like your MP3 controls here, and this phone made a really good MP3 player, better than an iPod Nano, definitely. This phone has up to 9 hours of talk time and 370 hours of standby time. Let's compare it to the thickness of some other uh, devices. As you can see here, the LG View is noticeably bigger than uh, it, but this is actually thicker than the LG View, I believe. That's probably only because of the slide-up keyboard. Compared to the iPod Touch, the iPod's a toothpick, and this is a stick. Though for a decently old phone, it's not too much of a brick. I never actually... I did, but I didn't use the um, regular built-in internet browser as much. I mostly used Opera on this device, because Opera ran really good on this. It's a pretty old version of Opera that is on here, but it still worked very well back when I had it let me go on YouTube and everything and check my messages and all that. It was very good and useful. Uh, actually, I was in Florida, didn't have a computer to use, and I was like kind of like suffering from loss of internet. So I called my mom, I'm like, hey, can I get the unlimited data plan? I wasn't even with my mom. My mom was in Jersey, I was in Florida. I'm like, so then I called AT&T, talked to them about it, and I had it added to my account from Florida. It's just so I could go on the internet and got Opera and stuff, so worked out good. So yeah, overall this is a very good device and I would definitely recommend it. Unfortunately you can't get it through AT&T anymore. You could easily buy it off of Amazon if you're on AT&T. You just stick your SIM card in there. Or if you're on um, T-Mobile you could get an unlocked version. If you're on Verizon or Sprint you're screwed. I'm CyberAce TV and thanks for watching. Sorry that I haven't been making any real tech videos lately. It's just because I like to get more hands on with stuff instead of talking about stuff. And I have an Android tablet coming soon and some iPod cases. So, should be some interesting videos coming up. Thanks for watching.